Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Snapships channel. We are here today featuring another community builder. Uh, we're very excited to have Leo Francisco with us, and we're going to talk about his builds. We're going to check him out on Instagram. He's going to talk us through his process and highlight some of his favorite things. Uh, and then we're just going to have a good time seeing what is possible in the world of Snapships. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button and the notification bell and the bell to notify the notify bell so you can know when it's been notified. And uh, yeah, let's talk to Leo. Hello, Leo. How hey, are you Leo. doing? How's it going? Hey, Scott. Hey, Jeff. Doing good. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us and talk to us. Uh, we've seen so many of your builds online. The photos are great. The builds are fantastic. And Scott and I were like, man, we have to talk to Leo. His stuff is so great. So we want to dive in and just kind of have you talk us through some of the awesome creative stuff you've done. Leo, how did you hear about Snapships and how did you get into it? Um, I'm going to blame this and, and credit this to Jeff Franjo. Jeff recommended it. So, um, so yeah, that was right before Christmas. And I, I picked up a whole bunch of ships then. And uh, back then I was all about <clears throat> The complex. I was like, man, I like the complex, um, and that was way back when. Now, now I have multiples of everything. <laughs> way back when, way back at Christmas of last year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so you got some kits and you started building stuff and you started building complex stuff, uh, yeah. which is great because there's a lot of stuff online that we see that a lot of people don't focus on building too much complex stuff. Um, but you clearly have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most Gosh. of what I noticed was so much forge stuff. But you know, yeah, the classic so, spaceship builds were kind of cool looking, but I'm all about the kaiju and monsters. God, so you have so many builds on your Instagram. <laughs> like the hard part's gonna be like picking some out yeah. to say like, what do you wanna talk about? Um, I, right. I gotta say the, the very first build you posted <laughs> is actually a super cool little clean build. Um, which, which one was that? It's like this little locust uh, gamboro. It's, <laughs> it's, it's so cool and surprising to see someone just come out of nowhere and just build a super clean build that looks very finished, so that like immediately caught our eye. And then you can kind of see as your Instagram feed goes on, you acquire more sets and the builds just kind of grow and grow and grow and get, get uh, you know, more ambitious. Yeah, definitely. They, they mutated. What, uh, what kits did you start with? And then what, what kits did you add on to, um, to kind of get going? Um, let's see, I started, I think with uh, almost all of the uh, complex ships, but once I discovered the Scorpion, I like that was, the one to get multiples from, like the, just the variety of parts and the number of parts in them made it really useful. Yeah. Um, oh, so I, I think I have five or six sets of them now. So one of the ones that's on your um, Instagram is the Talum Anino blade. It's, I don't know if I'm pronouncing oh, yeah. that right. That ship is awesome. And the post effect thing that you did to it looks great. Um, but can you talk about that ship at all? I just love the, the way you incorporate the giant structural wings from so many different kits. Yeah. It just looks so mean. <laughs> yeah. Let me grab this right here. Oh, oh awesome. Yeah. Swing, I love swing it around. Yeah. The giant oh. front wow. wings that are like just weird mandible teeth. Yeah. And it looks so sleek and fast, right? Like it's just moving which is great. And your Instagram picture, the lines are really great on the picture that uh, that you took as well. It just looks like it's, Thanks. that's awesome. Um, yeah, I, I could just imagine it like literally slicing through a Gladius or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Yeah, um, that's a great ship. But yeah, I, this, this was uh, a couple of versions down. I think I did a, it was a Starcraft Phoenix that had some sort of similar wing variation mm -hmm. and then it, it changed a couple of different versions to, to this flattened version. Yeah, that one looks great. And it's got on the tops and bottoms are those side thruster things from the Scorpion kit, I think. Which, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh no, those are launchers. 
those are launchers from the things. I never build with the launcher things. I love the uh, the red uh, tail fin construction is awesome. Yeah, too. it's really good. <laughs> I love uh, the blades. Another one on your Instagram is the complex rancor. Yeah, which is rad. Uh, you can see how you take those those really long scorpion tail feather things and using those as like front facing bits to like just make it elongate the fuselage and just make it feel really dangerous. That one's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, a, a lot of those are um, really, they have a, a very similar structure. They're kind of, they have kind of have this X-wing wasp kind of variation to it. And I, I'm finding most of my ships for the complex follow that kind of pattern. It's a good classic. So I gotta ask, when you build complex ships, do you start with the structure or do you start with sort of the wings and details and trying to figure out how to to get a certain shape or a certain silhouette? Um, for most of them, it's a basic structure, but uh, for this, this latest one, I really wanted the wing design to mm. dominate. Is that, can you hold on? Oh, this is the, um, the complex uh, uh, Tanina, Nino. I don't even remember my names anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. One of the things that people have taken to, which is delightful for us, is when they post something, people go through pains to name their ship something cool. Uh -huh. Which, because we had to name everything, we can relate to that. Which we can because we had to name all the stuff for all the packaging and, and app and everything. And app and coming up with names is not easy. And so. Whenever I see other people's names, I'm always like, that's a good name. And I didn't have to think of it. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, some of them are pretty well thought out. Um, but a lot of times it's right before I post. I, I think of something and it's usually English translated to um, Portuguese or Tagalog. Or sometimes I, sometimes I just go through the Google Translate and see what looks cool. <laughs> that works. We, that that works. That, We've been there. Yeah, yeah, that works. <laughs> so, you, and so you have such creative builds and names. Um, what do you do for a living, Leo? Are you involved in some type of creative industry, or? Yeah, I'm a I'm a teaching artist. Oh, so awesome. I teach uh, elementary school to middle school kids visual arts and dance, as well as for their uh, teachers. Oh, how long have you done that? About twenty years. Gotcha. Do any do, you, do any of your kids know what snapships are? Know that, and why yeah. not? <laughs> you know, I, I did a little. Um, one of my schools asked me to do like an all about me video, um, and how it pertains, like how my my personal life relates to my professional life. And I had a little section on um, feeding your geeky uh, habits, and and I <laughs> I had a section on snapships. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I should send you it. We'll have to get that. Yeah, yeah that sounds great. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs>